If this early heat wave wasn't already bad enough, new research reveals that people who live in hot climates like Arizona age faster biologically than those living in cooler climates. The heat can actually be harder on your skin than smoking or drinking. 12 News journalist Rachel Cole is here with the stats. Rachel. Yeah, you guys, I'm actually sweet 16 today, but since I was born and raised in the Valley, I look much older. But the truth is the Valley's heat and vices going hand in hand for this particular story. So summer temps, of course, they're unmatched here in the Phoenix area. In fact, they can be really devastating to our health. And researchers now say the impact of the heat on how we look is the equivalent to smoking, even drinking. So we spoke to a physician's assistant about how we can sidestep these symptoms. If you have sun and smoking, we're just in trouble. Dermatologist John Schaff sharing the compound effects. We all know that more sun exposure, UV radiation, we have risk for skin cancer, photo aging, stuff like that. Photo aging, premature aging caused by exposure to UV rays, and Phoenix sees a lot of them. Last year, temps topped 90 degrees for a record-breaking 188 days, with more than 140 of those surpassing 100 degrees. The new science advances study suggesting prolonged heat exposure of that magnitude changes how your genes behave, aging us fast. It creates just more of a stress on the body, more of an oxidative stress, which then can lead to what we've already talked about, changes in the skin. Something seen in some of the 56 people who live in all parts of the country, finding that those who live in hot climates like Phoenix looked about 14 months older than people living in cooler places like Seattle. What's worse? Research links premature aging with other health issues. Create more problems from uh, you know, cardiovascular standpoint, more heat, stress to the heart, to our blood vessels, increased blood pressure, risk of stroke, all of those things can be compounded by that. Best thing Dr. Schaff recommends to combat skin issues, especially anti-aging. Everyone can do a better job at wearing more sunscreen. Drink and water, sun protective clothing, I think is another big one. And then avoiding long-term sun exposure, you know, if you know you're gonna be outside all day, doing those things, but also finding shade and stuff like that. And of course, there are plenty of other factors when it comes to speeding up the aging process, like a bad diet, lack of exercise, emotional or physical stress, and of course, environmental uh, factors like poor air pollution. So just a couple of things to keep in mind as we enter the summer months and take on this early heat wave. We'll send it back to you guys from downtown Phoenix. All right, Rachel, thanks. Good advice.